This is the foldable Vivi e-bike. I used it for deer season last year. I put about 120 miles on it. I'll give you a few of my thoughts on it and how it performed this year. All right, so this is definitely a budget-friendly bike. I think when we got it last year, after taxes and shipping and everything, I think it was about 600 bucks. Uh, right now on Amazon, you can get it for 339, I believe. And there's a few things that uh, it leaves you wanting a little more. I do wish it was, you know, um, a fat tire bike. I think that fat tire is going to give you a little more cushion out on the trail. This battery, the way they have it designed to hang off the front handlebar, this sucker jiggles around and makes a lot of racket when you're going down the trail. And of course, if you're deer hunting, you always want to be quiet and stealthy. So that, that was a little annoying. And just overall, the bike is a little squeaky going down the trail. Um, so what I would do is basically get off uh, a fair distance from where I was going. And I would get off the bike and I would walk. So it definitely served its purpose. But uh, didn't give me any trouble, no issues. Everything worked as it should. It definitely took some abuse. Um, riding it in the mud, crossing ditches full of water. Got caught in the rain a time or two. And um, it's still going strong. So I think that says a lot about it, especially for $340. It's definitely uh, a budget-friendly option that'll get you where you need to go. One thing I would recommend changing is the tires. The tires that come on it are really smooth. So I put these tires, they're like Kevlar lined with more grip, but I also use slime tubes. And I'm glad I did because I got several flats and uh, I carried a little mini air pump in my backpack and I had to stop several times. And with the slime tube, if your tire goes down, a lot of times you can just air it back up and by the time you air it back up, the tube will seal itself again. So a handful of times while I was out there, I got a flat, was able to air back up, and it held. And in some cases, I think that front tire is still holding from a puncture that I got out on the trail. I had to change the tubes a couple of times because of flats back here, and it really was not that hard. Um, there's several videos on the internet about changing these uh, the back tire with the motor. And the main thing is that there's a spacer um, behind here that has to go fit into this slot a certain way. As long as you do that, it's, it's pretty simple. I, I had to do it two or three times and uh, I'm no mechanic, so anybody could do it. I put my bow hanger on the handlebars and uh, that worked out pretty well. I put an extra light it does have a light that comes with it and it works well but when you're out there in the pitch black it's always nice to have an extra light I always also had one on my head as well and the cool thing about this one is that it comes off and has a uh, a port so that you can actually charge your phone off of it too definitely recommend always having extra power out there in case of uh, emergencies you don't want your phone dying out in the woods you're looking for an e-bike on a budget 339 this is the way to go